With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. So the question is, marks obtained by 200 students in an examination are given below. So these are the marks and these are the frequencies of the students who got these marks. So draw an OGIV for the given distribution taken 2 cm is equal to 10 marks on one axis and 2 cm is equal to 20 students on the other axis. Using graph determine if scoring 85 and more marks is considered as grade 1. Find the number of students who secured grade 1 in the examination. So let us create the cumulative frequency distribution for these of less than type. So less than will be less than uh, 10 marks okay so here will be 10 then 20 then less than 30 less than 40 less than 50 less than 60 less than 70 less than 80 and less than 90 and less than 100 okay so let me make it visible for you so now let us calculate the cumulative frequencies of the given data. Now this will be same as 5, this will be 16, 11 plus 5, then it will be 26, then this will be 46, now this will be 74, then 111, then 151, then 180, then 194 then 200 so this is our table and we will use these marks and these cumulative frequencies to mark it on graph and create an OJ so let's move on to graph so we have created the cumulative frequency table and marks table and let's just move on to graph so this is my graph now let's start marking the points on the graph corresponding to their uh, less than type okay so what was the frequency what was the cumulative frequency of less than 10 what was the number of students who received marks less than 10 it was 5 so where is 5 5 will be right here because from this 0 to 20 there are 20 students so from 0 to this point there will be 10 students and from 0 to this point there will be 5 students so it will be marked here okay now let's move on to 20 now less than 20 what was the number of students it was 16 so where was 16 it will be one observation above 15 so it is right here okay so we have marked till 20 now let us move to 30 for 30 it was 26 it will be above 20 above 25 and this will be right here okay now let's move on to 40 less than 40 observations for less than 40 the observation was 46 so it will be 40 then this will be 50 okay then at 40 it is 46 so this is right here 45 then above 1 okay now let's uh, calculate less than 50 what was the observation for less than 50 it was 74 so where will be 74 this right here is 70 then 74 will be right here Okay, so what will be the observation for less than 60? It will be 111. So where is 111? So this is right here 110 and it, more than this it is right here 111. Okay, so now let's mark less than 70. It is 151. So where is 151? Let's move. So the observation for 70 was 151 so this is the line of 70 and 151 is right here 
between 140 and 160 here so 151 will be marked as here okay so now let us mark less than 80 so the observation for less than 80 is exact 180 okay so let's mark the observation for less than 90 it is 194 so where is 194 till here it is 190 till here it is 195 so it is right here okay so now let's mark less than 100 what is less than 100 it was exact 200 so we have got a curve here so let me join that curve with a smooth line and I will tell you what is the curve like so we always join the curve with a smooth line so let me create start a smooth line here so it will pass from these points it will go like this then it will go like this then this so let me complete my curve So this is our curve. Now we have to find how many, what are the observations who are received marks less than, more than 85, grade 1. Okay. So let's mark that. Okay. So where in this graph it is, the marks are 85. So here it is. Okay. So I will create a perpendicular from this point. And I will try to meet it on our constructed OJ. And I will see what is the corresponding observation in the y-axis. So that the that is the main method we will apply. So let's let us do that. So let us extend this line and let it meet an OJ at a point. So it is meeting right here. Okay. So So it is meeting our OJ at this point. Now what is this point? You can see how many students which are above this they will receive a marks of more than 85 and they will be in first standard. So how many are they? So these are these are the students who will receive marks more than 85 so how many are they this is 10 and this is two more so it is 12 so there are 12 students in grade 1 so this was the answer okay so we have created an OJ and examined that from which point the students with grade 1 and how many there are students with grade 1 okay so this is this was the graph and OJ for class 6 to 12 ITG and NEET level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today